SDS2 has made improvements to control the vent holes for galvanizing in the hand drum member. In this video, we'll cover the different scenarios for internal vent hole diameters, new options for external vent holes, and improvements for detailing templates for the hand drum member. Now you can control the diameter of the internal vent hole for the top rail, mid rail, posts, pickets, and grab bar. We have added in a scroll bar to make it easier to see and navigate all of the options. You can set all of your defaults in your project settings, job, plugin defaults, member plugin defaults, and handrail. When a pipe rail has an end post, the external vent hole is often not required, so now it is an option to add the hole in the elbow. By default, this option is not checked. The drilling of hole in the elbow is not always easy, so we have added an option for PN conditions to have the vent hole in the elbows, rails, or none. Next on our list is the interior vent holes and posts, which will cause holes in the top rail and in the base or continuous plate connection. I have it so my posts and rails will stop at the intersection. I'll now set a 1 inch diameter interior hole by removing the automatic option. We now see in our rail that we have a hole in the top rail and at the mid rail and post intersection and the base plate. In some conditions, a user may not require a hole in the top rail, but only in the base plate or continuous plate connection. When we remove the internal option in the post, the internal connection plate is enabled. Now we will only have a hole in the connection plate and not in the top rail. Now you have the ability to add external vent holes at the top rail. Now I'll remove the external holes in the posts. Note that this will remove both the top and bottom external vent holes in the posts. A lot of work has been done in the rails on the detailing templates. You can see now that the templates called the internal vent holes along the handrail label is now capitalized.